Well, I do think that working with hackers is the key to the future. In, in cybersecurity, we face an asymmetric threat and we haven't known what to do, but it's clear. We have known since thousands of years that with asymmetric threats, you need to have a pooled defense. You have yeah. to pool the defense forces. Working with hackers is exactly that. The same hacker who helped Pentagon, helped the Marines, helped the Air Force, helped Goldman Sachs, General Motors, that same hacker can work with you on, on solving your problems. And for a security organization to realize that there's this enormous talent pool outside, well-intended, well-behaved people who will help you right. and you reward them when they help you. That actually can catapult your security uh, operations uh, very quickly because, of course, you pay for the result, results you get, but they are not full-time headcount and you can access them very quickly and you didn't train them. They got trained by hacking into systems all over the world. So that is, it's an amazing opportunity for security organizations. And we see it when people start doing it, that they come to us and say, we had no idea we could get so much value so quickly. Well, I, I used to be a uh, cloud detractor at the beginning of the journey. So no cloud for you. No cloud for me right. at the beginning. Uh, and of course, I was, it wasn't a mistake. Now I realize that this is the opposite. Uh, it's very useful in terms of security to impact very well. Uh, because you have a, a lot of tools and, and concepts related to, to cloud, you know, like automations and DevOps and, and so on. It's not a trendy thing. Right. It has a, a new culture that is that arrived to, to, to and, and we have to work in a different way. So uh, if I have to give them to someone advice to how to adopt the, the, the cloud, First of all, is, of course, uh, is I understand that you are afraid to, to that because there are new risks, uh, but you also have a lot of benefits to 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 take this risk out. No, so, so, new, so new security opportunities, perhaps new security yeah. opportunity. Yes, totally agree. At Data Miner and your previous organization, you've you've had the opportunity to be at re really a leading edge organization as far as looking at. How do I embrace the cloud? How do I leverage it for my business? How do I leverage it for my security organization? Uh, where do you see this all going in, let's just say, the next five years or so? That's a great question. I think a lot of, of organizations are going to start taking advantage of all of these advanced features that the cloud are offering to enable business to move forward, right? Um, I, I think before it took a long time for actually organizations to actually put a product out there. Right. right, and the fact that cloud allows you to actually really, from the moment you you come up with a concept to the actual you deliver it, you could really do this pretty quickly, right? Doing it right and quickly is the key, right? Yeah. And I think organizations are starting to really figure out that is possible nowadays. It's right. absolutely possible to do it. Having that framework and looking at how you actually build it out, uh, security as design or security sure. by design is probably the best approach to actually do something like that. But I think organizations are really starting to realize that that's possible and embracing the cloud and saying, I'm willing to either, it's not so much about taking a risk, it's about architecting it with risk in mind, right? Architecting your risk, cloud. Of, risk management. Risk right, management, right. basically, and, and, and taking that mindset of, I can only put things in a box because it's a data center, not anymore, right? right. Uh, I think secure, like cloud services allow you to actually think outside of the box and put security you know, within that workflow. I think one thing that I, I push very hard on uh, my security teams is I don't ever want my security teams to ever be accused of having a lack of imagination, right? And I think the cloud allows the security engineers uh, on the team to have that imagination, saying I could use all kinds of services sure. to fix issues that CISOs have been trying to fix for the past 30 years, and we haven't been able to actually do a good job with it. I think now we can get innovative, creative, disruptive with these services to come up with the right approach within within workflows that organizations are looking for. And effectively, no limits, right? No, exactly. There is no limits, and that's what that's what we want. We want the handcuffs off. We don't want to be put into a box and and, and try to solve things that, again, we haven't been able to solve for the past 20, 30 years. So um, I think that um, it allows us, as AWS services allow us, or cloud services just allow us to actually do that and have that different mindset. You do need to think differently if you're trying to solve 21st century problems, right? right.